Oh, hello. Sorry, I'm just gonna get my coffee. I have my uh, oat milk latte this morning. Today, I have a couple things to do. Not that exciting, but I might um, film it and chat. Plan for the day, make the bed, clean up a little bit, have to send a couple emails. We have to work on a couple presentations and send those off. We'll see how far I get for deliveries. I have a delivery in Trenton and delivery in Brighton that I would like to get done today if I can. And I do have to go to the post office. Three that are going into Belleville, which I'm probably gonna do Monday is when I usually do my Belleville deliveries because I do pick up some that day as well. I've got one going to Brighton and then I got some packages over there. One for Canada Post and one for UPS. Let's get today going. So I am just getting ready to head out. I thought I would show you what I'm wearing because you know, any excuse to get dressed is a good one. So this cute little sweater is from The Gap. It was from a closet buyout that I did before I had my consignment program. So it is available for purchase on sediment.square.site. It does have one repair on it that my grandmother helped me do. It just had a hole in it. it. You can't even notice it when it's on either. I'll link it down below. My jeans are not for sale. They're like a high rise. I think they're men's to be honest but they're so comfortable. I found them at Valley Village. They're buffalo. Been doing so much research on this stupid tag. If anybody knows anything about buffalo jeans, please help me. I've been trying to find these jeans. I think they're the coolest things ever. Put my mask on. Okay, and I'll see you in a hot second. So I need to take this and this. Oh my gosh, the wind! Are you kidding? Got all my winter gear on, obviously. My jacket is North Face jacket from City Revival. The zipper actually broke on me and now I only can button it up, which is fine, but I just need to get the zipper fixed. I'm just putting it off. This scarf is actually a hand-knit scarf from Alex's grandmother. My hat is from Plain Jane Artistry. She's a local maker in Trenton. I'll link this specific hat as well as all of her details in the bio. I'm pretty sure I have a coupon code with her if I can find that as well. I'll put that there for you guys. I dropped off the package at UPS. Just before the next delivery, I just have one delivery left. I thought I would stop at the Grinded Vine, which is just a coffee shop in Trenton. Our friend Taylor purchased it last year. Has it been a year already that he's owned it? It's like a coffee wine bar. It's so cute and so fun. I'm gonna go get a coffee. I'm being pushed over. Got my London fog. So we just need to figure out where we're going next. Okay, so I don't know if you could hear me before, but I got an oat milk latte, or oh my God, no, I didn't even get an oat milk latte. I got a London fog, which is my next go-to after I've had too much coffee. Somebody just made an order and they're gonna pick it up. So I'm just gonna show you how I package up some things. In here, I have got bags, bubble mailers, bigger bags in here, some boxes, some smaller bags, some other mailers. I try to use recycled ones as best as I can and these are my backups. Purchased this sweater, which actually just came into the shop. I just posted it yesterday. It's just a, like a little hoodie situation. It's kind of cute. Usually I write a little card saying thank you. I have this pickup box that I used to keep packages in for people who are picking stuff up. I've actually made it for me. It's like fantastic. And I painted my logo on top, very thinned it. Um, yeah, some package in there. Easy peasy, keeps it away from the snow. 
cute little peanut. Thank you for the kisses. Thank you. Oh my gosh. I love her. <laughs>